All right, I think we're live. Epic. Okay, these old these older games always it's always a question whether or not my Elgato capture card is going to handle it correctly. Uh, kind of a pain, but <laughs> anyway, anyway, it seems like we're we're in here. Uh, no music, as you can tell. Uh, I guess I'll talk about the music in a minute. <laughs> anyway, uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? I think. I'm not sure I might have, <laughs> I might have the, um, the Expanding Fronts mod installed, or I might have just reset the game, I'm not sure. I was playing around with it a long, uh, like a few years ago, and I didn't ever bother to uninstall it or anything. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be installed any longer, so. Anyway, that's besides the point. Hello, everybody. It is Super Stupidy, and I'm here with some, uh, here with some Galactic Battlegrounds, the clone clone campaigns, um, the, uh, whatever the expansion pack for the game is, I don't remember. Anyway, this is one of my, uh, favorite childhood games. Um, and I'm excited to play it. I'm not very good at RTS, so this could be kind of horrible. I'm gonna try to play on normal mode. I'm gonna try to, <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, I'm, um, I guess I've played, wait, do these, these all start out unlocked? Do I have everything unlocked already? Okay, it looks like I, um, yeah, so I still have some save data from the last time I was playing this game, uh, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna break up this series into multiple different series. This series is going to be the Wookiee campaign, the tutorial campaign, um, but the reason is because this game is extremely long, um, so <laughs> I kind of thought if I ever wanted to actually play this game on the channel, it would need to be broken up. Uh, and thankfully, we have these little campaigns here. Making it very easy to separate into multiple different sessions. So, um... That's funny. Uh, I never really noticed that the droid campaign was the second one. I always do the Gungan one next for whatever reason. Um... Anyway, I guess we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. Transmission 0112TK. Location, Alaris Prime. Encoded to Jedi Council. Qui-Gon Jinn transmitting. An unexplored world is a hostile world. I must help the Wookiee leader Atichitok to learn the lay of the land. Only then can we find an appropriate place to settle. End transmission. All right. Uh, every time we switch screens, it freaks out the capture card. Hopefully, that won't be an issue. Uh, meow, meow, meow. Um. So anyway, I'm gonna be popping my own music in here. But if you've ever played this game with the music on, you probably know that it basically just plays Duel of the Fates on loop for eternity. When I was a kid, I never had the music on. I had no idea this game even had music. Um, I'm not sure if it just came out of the box off by default, or if my dad turned it off because it was annoying, but either way, um, definitely a much better experience with the music off. Because <laughs> Age of Empires has some classic music, but for whatever reason... Uh, in Galactic Battlegrounds, they were just like, just play Duel of the Fates on loop for eternity. That's how it feels like, anyway. I don't remember if there's actually any more music in the game, but it's pretty awful. <laughs> anyway, we need to explore this new world. Follow Qui-Gon's instructions to find the camp of Chewbacca's father, Atichita. I can't aim. Before we unload workers and equipment, Chewbacca and his friend Shoran need to scout the area. Shoran has moved on ahead, but don't worry. He left markers so we could find him in this wilderness. Now move ahead to the first marker by right-clicking near it. Wow. Alright, sweet. Ah, uh, this is a classic game. This is one of Good. my all-time favorite childhood games. Let's go there. Very Click exciting for me. Then right-click near the next marker. <laughs> right, I see it. There's the next The marker. next one. In order to get to it, we'll have to travel through the black area. No, I already right cleared up the black the area. Marker. Okay, anyway. Tutorial. The black area represents territory you haven't seen. It clears up as Chewbacca moves towards it. I suspect Shoran is nearby. 
Move towards the next mark. So I don't know. I didn't see an option for turning on normal difficulty instead of easy for this campaign. I assume it's just because this is the tutorial one, so it's going to be real easy. Joran says he has found an obstruction in the path. It could be dangerous. We should stick together. <laughs> to explore as a group, click near the units and drag around them. Whee! <laughs> Good. Now right-click near the marker to the north. I see the problem now. Scroll north by moving your mouse to the top of the screen. Click on that tall structure I did it. To I clicked it. it. It looks like a malfunctioning power core. This world is supposed to be uncolonized. If someone else was here, what drove them away? No matter. It's a hazard. It's we a hazard. Environmental Scroll hazard. Destroy it. By moving your mouse to the bottom of the screen. Select your explorers by clicking near them and dragging a box around. Break them. this thing. Break it. I'm way ahead of Qui-Gon Jinn now, at the moment. Scroll north to the power core again. But this time, right click to attack. Right click. Your units will advance across the map and attack the power core. Done. Job done. Excellent work, my friend. Thank you. Chewbacca's father, Atijituk, awaits us to the north. I can see one of his markers ahead. Let us continue. Let us come to following the markers until we find I found a group of three markers. That's important, right? To have three of them. Look. Okay. Looks like he's already staking a claim. <laughs> staking a claim. What's that? Atichitok smells trouble. Trouble. Gundarks, they're attacking the camp. Gundar. Don't worry. No match for Wookiee warriors. Click a warrior and right click a gun. There he is, look at this guy. Defeat them before they can tear down the camp. How long would it take them to destroy everything? I feel like you'd have to be r really bad at clicking things to let these guys actually break everything. <laughs> Ow. Excellent fighting, my friend. The gun darks must have damaged that power core and driven off its owners. We won't be so easily scared away. Dangers of Alaris Prime. I have located a malfunctioning power core, destroyed by a Gundark, sir. You will deal with these Gundarks, Ul2. Find them, skin them, and bring the pelts to our Trandoshan friends. Yes, sir. Uh oh. <laughs> that will ultimately transform him into a great leader. Huh. Looks like, uh. We lost most of the cutscene there. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to replay cutscenes so I can record them all. He has begun the journey of discovery that will ultimately transform him into a great leader. Anyway, I guess we'll jump into m resources. Give a Wookiee Bantha meat and he'll eat for a day. Teach a Wookiee to hunt Bantha and he'll eat for a lifetime. Gathering resources, including metal, food, nova crystals, and carbon, is critical to this colony's survival. I will endeavor to help Atichituk and his son Chewbacca to gain this capability. All right, I can already tell editing this series is going to be a pretty big pain in the butt. Well, it'll be easier once the levels get longer, I guess. <laughs> uh, learn how to gather resources with Qui-Gon Jinn's Qui help. Gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 ore, and 50 nova crystals. Intelligence. This is all junk. Who cares about this? Reconnaissance. A river cuts off from the east, and an impenetrable fortress, forest even, blocks our path to the west. Luckily, we needn't travel far to find the resources we need. The key to colonization is self-sufficiency. We'll begin gathering resources right away. Now. We will need to gather 200 food, 100 carbon, 50 Nova Crystals, and 50 Ore. To begin, click one worker. Click one worker. Now, to begin gathering food Can I food build anything Uja that'll speed this right up? Click on it. Now look in the status area at the bottom of the screen. If you have a worker selected, Boop. you can see how much yeah. food the worker Don't has need that. The worker will keep picking Muja fruit until he is carrying 10 food. Then he will carry it to the command center and return to the Muja fruit bush for more. You can learn more by moving your mouse over any of the symbols on the bottom of the screen. You can also see a miniature map of your surrounding area. A miniature map. To gather food faster, 
Select all your workers and send them to work by right-clicking on a fruit bush. To remind yourself what your objectives are, click on the Objectives button on the far right side of your screen. When your objectives change, this button will flash to let you know. You can monitor your current stockpiles of food above the mini-map in the lower right corner of the screen. You can also monitor your carbon, Nova crystal and ore stockpiles. You've gathered 50 food. 50 which food. Is enough to create another work. Thank you. See that large building? That's your command center. Click on your command center. Mm. Then click the create I made him. Button I've created him. Corner of the screen. Out of food. Now watch the progress. <laughs> Frankenstein the them together. The bottom of the screen. When the progress bar reaches 100% your new worker will appear next to your command center. Yeah, but I need more another food for another one. Is by shore fishing. Take your new worker and move him towards the river. He's busy. He's busy. Okay, well, anyway, I have enough Chewbacca for another one. should be along any minute. Until then, keep your workers gathering resources. By now, you should have enough food to create another worker at your command center. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, they're bringing back more food. Food is like the most important resource here. Let's do some shore fishing. If any workers are idle, the idle worker button will flash below the minimap. Click on the button to jump to any workers who aren't pulling their weight. See those jumping, jumping fish? fish? Select your worker and right click fish on small, the fish. fish medium. Your worker will start fishing and adding to your food stockpiles. All right, looks like we're about to be able to I can't make another worker because I don't have enough prefab shelter. Um, can I build? No! I can only have five. This sucks. Anyway, I guess that means I don't need to be making any more food. Stop it. Okay, you're, you, that's enough of the food stuff, I guess. Wait, how much food do I need? I need more food, don't I? Oops, well, whatever. If I can't make more workers, it doesn't really matter what they do. Um, how much carbon do I need? A hundred? I don't need a hundred carbon. Uh, so you can actually stop, cease. Okay, I know, I happen to know where everything is. So let's go venture up here towards the, uh, what are, what's up here? The Nova Crystals? Or is it both? Is it the, the ore and Nova Crystals? Or, I don't remember. I do not remember. There's Nova Crystals. Excellent. You found some Nova Crystals. These are a valuable commodity used as currency throughout the galaxy. You'll need 50 Nova Crystals to go any further. Okay, epic. Um, I don't think you need to be gathering carbon any longer. What's down here? Um, 100 carbon. So yeah, we actually literally just have enough carbon at this point. So just put all this back. And I guess go on the food. Go on the food. I wish I could make one of those carbon or uh, the Nova Crystals processing centers. That would be pretty sweet. But I can't build anything in this stupid level. More more crystals. I need the ore. Where's the ore? I thought the ore was like up here somewhere. Maybe it's all the way at the end. Because I can't see any over here. Is he going to tell me how to build a processing center? Because that would be pretty good. I don't want them to have to walk all Even the way from here. Workers aren't trained warriors like Chewbacca. They can be vulnerable to attacks from gunners. When workers are in trouble, they can run to the command center for shelter. They can even shoot at invaders from the command center. Let's try a drill. What? Click on they're the busy, center. you dumb dumb. Okay, let me make sure that the ore is up here. Whatever. Click on the Wait, where's the ore? Alert beacon I said I was saying I know how this level works. Now I can't even remember where the ore is. Where's the ore? Where's the ore at? Huh? Okay, fine. Let's do this drill. They're all just sitting here doing nothing. What am I paying them for? With the command center select, activate the alert beacon again to continue gathering resources. Okay. Uh, no ore. Where's all the ore in this level? Who is what? What is this? What are you doing, you goof? Okay, wait, is there ore over here? There's a whole path over here that I didn't see. There it is, there it is, I found it. When processed, Ore becomes durasty, which is used to make buildings and defenses strong. 
You'll need 50 ore to continue. Uh, okay, what do I not need any more of? Uh, looks like everyone's doing appropriate tasks, except you. You need to not do that any longer. I only need two more Nova Crystals. <laughs> um, okay, so we're about to have plenty of food. This guy's got nine. This guy's got ten. So, um, once you're done, you can come do this. This guy's on his last trip over here. Uh, sweet. Okay, so you're done. We only need ore now. Where's the, uh, objectives? Okay, so they're not separated. These objectives aren't separated for some reason. It would be more satisfying if it checked them all off. But no. Alright, we're about to get all the ore we need. Boom, okay, no more food required. Carbon. Carbon. carbon is used what are you to create talking Europe about? Blast, which we use for building. <sighs> click on a worker, then click on a tree. A the tree. worker will attach an extractor ring to the tree and gather carbon from it. An extractor Ooh. ring. Ah, here comes Chewbacca. Oh, he's trouble. coming. Gundarks are approaching. Select your command center and activate the alert beacon to bring the workers inside. Okay, I have everything I need. Never mind, I guess we're not doing that part. <laughs> Oops. He learns quickly. I am most impressed. I am most impressed. That was the cutscene. That was the whole cutscene. Um, okay, well... That was that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Bit of a short one, I guess. Uh, this series is probably gonna have pretty long episodes by the time we get into it. But anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, go ahead and do the usual supportive stuff. And I will see you guys. Or start with Scenario 5 if you already know how to play. I don't know how to play. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys for the next one when we start building an army. Anyway, the uh, the last part of that mission was pretty easy. You just get the troops in. You just get your workers in the building, and then they just shoot the gun darks down. Uh, actually, let me just jump into it. Maybe? Nah, forget it. Forget it. You know. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. From Super Stupidity, it is goodbye for now. Goodbye.